Hi, this is James Pickles, Fast and Safeti product owner. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the new methods in Safeti 8.4 for storing the risk results database. In previous versions of the software, the risk results database would be stored in a separate location from your PSUX. This would cause issues for some users. Some users wouldn't be aware that the software saved a risk results database in a separate location from the PSUX, which meant that when they were transferring PSUX files to a different location, maybe a different hard drive, or maybe sharing those studies with colleagues or external customers, they wouldn't be sharing the risk results database as well. And therefore those studies would have to be rerun. It also caused some issues in rare circumstances where the PSUX could become out of sync with the risk results database, which meant that you would have to rerun the risk calculations again. So this would be inconvenient for users. So in version 8.4, we wanted to prevent this situation from happening. And therefore in version 8.4, by default, the risk results database will be stored inside the PSUX once you've closed the PSUX studies. Now, if you did want to revert to how things were in previous versions, then you can do that. On the workspace dialog, you will see a new group called database. And within that group, we have the option for storing the results database in the study file. By default, this option will be checked, but you can uncheck this checkbox if you wish. So with this checkbox checked, the risk results database will be stored in the PSUX file. Now the study that I've loaded here in version 8.4 is one of the example studies. I've run the risk calculations so we've generated a results database and you can see the reference to the database in the output log. But at this stage, I've not yet saved the PSUX. If we go to the C drive program data, DMVGL Safeti 840 slash database storage folder, this folder acts as a working database directory. In other words, this folder is used to save the risk results databases whilst the PSUX study is being worked on. So this database here, you can see the ID of this database is the same as the ID in the output log. This database is a working database. If we go to the location of the PSUX file, in version 8.4, you can right click on your study and click get study details. This will open a dialog to give us some information about the PSUX file. One of the pieces of information about this file is whether it contains a database. You can see that the checkbox next to database is unchecked. So at this stage, the PSUX does not contain a database file and that's because I've not yet saved this PSUX file. So if we now save this file and then go back to the location of the PSUX, right click on the PSUX and click get study details, you can now see that the checkbox next to the database has been checked. And therefore, this is telling us that the PSUX now contains a copy of the database. If we go back to the working database directory, you can see that we still have the working database. So at this point, there's actually two copies of the database. We have the database located inside the PSUX because we've saved the study, but we, ha we also have this working database in the working database folder. If I now close this study, we can go to the working database folder 
and you can now see that the working database has been removed from this directory automatically by the software. If we go back to the location of the PSUX and right click and click get study details, you can see that we still have a copy of the database located inside the PSUX. So now that database located inside the PSUX is in sync with the PSUX and that will always be the case. So it will prevent this issue where it was possible for PSUX files to become out of sync with the database. Now, if I reopen that study, the software will extract the database from the PSUX file and will place a copy of it inside the working database folder. So you can now see in the working database folder, we now have a database and the ID of this database is the same as the ID that is referenced in the output log. You may have noticed that this ID is a different ID from the ID of the database before the study was closed. And the reason for that is that this is actually a, a new instance of the database. It is a new working database. The database from the PSUX was copied and placed in this working database folder and therefore it's a new copy and it needs a new ID. Now with this default option of the database being saved inside the PSUX, the idea of this is that the user shouldn't really ever have to worry about any of this. The software will automatically extract databases and place them in the working directory whilst the study has been worked on. And then when the study is saved and closed, the database, the working database will be removed from the working database directory. And the PSUX will always be in sync with an up-to-date database inside the PSUX. And therefore the user shouldn't ever have to worry about databases when the default option of the database being stored inside the PSUX is used. Now, if you want to revert to how things were in previous versions of the software, which is where the database would always be stored on your hard drive and never be saved inside the PSUX, then you can do that. So if we go to the workspace dialog and uncheck this checkbox and then click OK. And now if we save the study, we can go to the location of the PSUX, right click and click get study details. And we can see now that the database checkbox is unchecked. So because we've unchecked the checkbox on the workspace dialog, to turn off the storage of the database inside the PSUX. Now we can see that the PSUX, even though it's in the saved state, the PSUX does not contain a copy of the database. If we go to the working database directory, you can see that we still have our working copy of the database. But you can see here that there is a backups folder. If we open the backups folder, you can see that there's a backup database. This backup database has the same name as the PSUX with an extra tag on the end. So this is the copy of the database that is in synchronization with the PSUX. If I close this PSUX, and we go to the working database directory. Like before, the working database has been removed from this folder. And that's because we've closed the PSUX file. But if we go into the backups directory, you can see that our backup database 
remains. If we reopen this study, the software will take a copy of the backup database and will place it in the working database directory. And you can now see that working database in the database, the working database folder. And you can see the tag of this working database is the same as the tag shown in the output log. So this folder, the working database directory, always acts as a temporary storage of the database. The backup of the database, the one that is always in sync with the PSUX, will either be located in the backups folder, if you've turned off the option to store that database inside the PSUX, that database will be stored in the backups folder. If you've turned on the option to store the database inside the PSUX, then instead of finding a database in the backups folder, it will be found inside the PSUX. If we open up the workspace dialog, you can see within the database group, we have the database name here. So this is the working database name. You can see that this is the same tag as the tag of the database in the working directory. You can see this tag is the same. And you can see that the backup database name is the same in this instance as the backup database that is in the backups folder. If you turn on this option here to store the results database inside the PSUX and then we click save then once that file has saved we can see in the backups folder we don't have a database and that's because we've requested that database to be stored inside the PSUX. We still have the working copy but if we go to the PSUX, right click, get study details, we can see that the database has been repackaged back inside the PSUX. And if we open the dialog, you can see that the backup database name is unset. Um, this backup database name tells us the name of the database, the backup database, inside the backups folder if you've turned off the option to store that database in the study file. We don't provide a field that gives the name of the database that's been saved inside the PSUX because the user doesn't need to know that. So that's why we've chosen not to give that information. So in summary, if you leave the default option to store the results database inside the PSUX, you shouldn't ever have to worry about the risk results databases. All you should ever have to worry about is your PSUX studies. If you want to revert to how things were in previous versions and you want to uncheck this checkbox, then you can do that and the database will be stored inside the backups folder once you have saved your study. When you close your PSUX studies, the software will automatically remove the working database copies in the working database folder. So thank you for listening. And if you have any questions or would like to get in touch, please email digital at dmvgl.com.